Good morning. I wanted to share with you a devotional. Uh, this morning we're going to look at Lord's Day 47 from the Heidelberg Catechism. It's looking at uh, the first request from the Lord's Prayer. Uh, so the question is, what does this first request mean? Hallowed be your name means help us to really know you, to bless, worship, and praise you for all your works and for all that shines forth from them, your almighty power, wisdom, kindness, justice, mercy, and truth. And it means help us to direct all our living what we think, say, and do so that your name will never be blasphemed because of us, but always honored and praised. And there are several uh, scripture references there from Jeremiah 9, 33, Matthew 16, John 17, Psalm 115, and Matthew 5, verse 16. So when I was growing up, when I was a little kid, uh, you know, what I took away from Hallowed Be Your Name or what I took away from even the commandment that says not to use the Lord's name in vain is that we should never, um, you know, use the name of Jesus as a swear word and that uh, we have to hold that name sacred. And that is true. That is true. But I also think that it is so much more than this and that we can show our gratitude. Remember, we're in the gratitude section of the catechism. We can show our gratitude in these, in these two ways. You know, hallowed be your name. Um, when we, when we remember that God's name is holy and that he's our father, uh, we think about what everything that comes from God. And what I was struck by these, um, you know, these six things that the catechism reminds us of, often they don't, they don't go together. And some people focus on uh, the, the kindness and mercy of God. And other people focus on the power, the wisdom, the justice, the truth. So it's almost like you have... Uh, a set of people that respond to God's imminence, you know, that he's with us, that he is kind, that he's gracious, that he shows mercy, that he's near to us, and then others that focus on the transcendence of God. You know, he's powerful, he's wise, he's the embodiment of the truth. You know, Jesus was the, the way and the truth and the life. But only in God and in his son, Jesus Christ, with these things come together. And so if you're a person that normally focuses on God's justice and his power, spend some time today thinking about God's kindness, his kindness in you, his kindness that leads to repentance. And if you're someone who, who really dwells in the kindness and the grace and the mercy of God, think about how powerful he is, how mighty he is, that he created the entire universe and that the only way he can show us mercy is through the slaying of his son, Jesus, how that comes together. The, the second part of the catechism here is so important also. Um, help us to direct all of our living so that God's name will never be blasphemed. Um, this is where I think the seriousness of discipleship, the seriousness of church membership comes into play. Because if you take on the name of Jesus upon yourself, if you are baptized into the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, if you make profession of faith to say, this is what I believe, then um, people are looking at you. <laughs> and we, we want to be careful to never blaspheme um, God. Or, or that, that people would look at us and say, that's Christ's hands and feet on this earth. Those are the things that Jesus would do. Those are the things that Jesus did do. So it calls us to being intentional with our lives, to being thoughtful, to being careful about what we say and think and do so that even people that don't understand the way of Jesus or why we do what we do would never speak uh, an evil word about us, would never catch us betraying um, Jesus and who he is and what he's called us to do. Called us to do. Such an important uh, reminder today. And I hope that you can live into it 
and, uh, and recognize the beauty of Jesus and, and the gratitude that he brings to our hearts. Have a wonderful day before Thanksgiving, and I hope you can join us in worship to give God thanks on Thursday for all that he's done. God bless.